Hello and what's up beautiful people hope you all are fine before starting video make sure you subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so you can receive my latest notification and put your thumbs up it will help me a lot as you can see here I have a, a plot area which is irregular shape so how you can draw this uh, in AutoCAD so let's start uh, first uh, as you can see we have A, B, C and D point so uh, for first we will draw a line from A to B and then uh, B to C and uh, again C to D and uh, in the end A to D so how we will draw this uh, let's start uh, before uh, starting you will, you will set the units and uh, dimension style uh, how to change these uh, units and dimension style you can uh, watch my previous video I will give uh, the link in i button so you can watch from there or uh, visit my playlist you can find there so from A to B we will uh, draw a straight line so we will uh, activate the line command from the draw bar and uh, we will uh, draw uh, pick a first point and then uh, if you want to make uh, ortho mode on you can uh, press uh, function key and F8 so you will uh, on the ortho mode and uh, then you will draw the line only in 90 degree so uh, if you are using laptop you can uh, press uh, function key and F8 then it will uh, activate the ortho mode or off uh, the ortho mode and uh, if you are use the extended uh, keyboard then uh, no need to press function key just uh, press the F8 key and it will uh, on or off the ortho mode so uh, here you can see I have uh, picked the first point of line now how we will draw this as you can see here the dimension of the A to B line is uh, 15,000 214.6 uh, uh, millimeter it means that it is 15.21 meter so uh, we will mention here 15214.6 uh, uh, millimeter and press enter and then press uh, after in pressing enter you as you can see here you uh, the line is uh, drawn here now we will draw uh, from B to C line how we will draw this B to C line we will use the circles method how we will use this circle method we will draw a circle from B to C and uh, what will be the radius of this circle the radius of the circle will be this 13.41 meter so let's start uh, we will uh, activate the circle command by uh, simple pressing C and uh, we will pick this B point uh, as a center of the circle and uh, then we will click on it and uh, now we will put the radius the radius will be 13 1411.2 uh, uh, meters uh, uh, sorry millimeters and then press enter as you can see here uh, it, uh, the circle is drawn here so uh, how we will get this uh, C point now as you can see here the this line is touching the, the D line is touching the C line so we will take the dimension of the C line or uh, the D line also so we will uh, find this C point it will intersect the uh, C point so we will draw here from uh, A point uh, we will draw a circle with the radius of with the radius of this line which is 2490 so we will draw this here uh, to 24000 uh, 970.4 millimeters and press enter as you can see here these two circle intersect each other where the circle intersect each other that is our C point so we will draw a line from here and we will pick this line here and randomly draw here on the intersection point as you can see this uh, C point we will get we will get this C point after uh, combining the intersection point we will delete this circle and now we will check the uh, dimension of this line so we will put uh, DAL for uh, align dimension you can put DAL and uh, first pick this point then this point and as you can see the dimension is similar to the given uh, dimension in the plot so for by this way you can draw B to C point now how we will get this uh, D point now we will draw a circle from a C, C point and uh, again another circle from A point now put uh, activate this circle command and uh, pick this point and uh, give the dimension of uh, this one 24,970 as you can see 24,970.4 and hit enter a as you can see here the big radius of uh, radius of the circle is drawn here now we will draw another circle from uh, a point and what will be the dimension of that point the dimension of that point will be 13,385.8 millimeters so we will uh, activate the circle and uh, we will pick this point as you can see and uh, we will draw a circle with the radius of uh, 13385.8 
millimeters and hit enter after hitting enter as you can see here it intersects the two points here also it intersects and here this point also intersecting but in the uh, in the given uh, data we have uh, on the left side uh, this a to d point so we will uh, combine this uh, a to d and uh, before this we will combine c to d and uh, put the pick a line and uh, pick first point and then randomly uh, pick the intersecting point so this uh, this line is drawn in the drawing and uh, in the last uh, combine these two line also from a to d and uh, as you can see our plot is completed we will uh, delete these circles uh, because we don't need any more and as you can see this plot is uh, drawn in the uh, uh, in the autocad uh, but this way you can draw all this uh, irregular shape in autocad so how we will check the dimensions now pr press dli for uh, dimension linear the dimension linear is only used for straight lines and uh, the, as you can see the dimension is same from the last mentioned uh, plot uh, and uh, for uh, oblique lines you will use dal dimension align you cannot use dli because it will not pick the same dimension again dal because it is also inclined line so we will uh, pick this point and this point as you can see the dimensions are same as mentioned in the uh, uh, given plot so dal again you do not uh, did not mention uh, put this dal again and again just press enter and it will activate it uh, for uh, your knowledge i put uh, dal again and again so you can find how to find the dimensions as you can see here this text is not uh, aligned to the dimension line so how can align this we will uh, activate this dimension style uh, dialog box and after that we will uh, go to modify after going to modify you will find here the text the text here it, uh, here is the box this uh, this says that text alignment it's uh, it is now by default it is now horizontal and you we need this uh, line according to our uh, dimension line uh, the direction of a uh, dimension line so how will you do th do this we will align with dimension line we will check this one and then we will uh, hit in okay and after that we will uh, select this copy of standard and set as current and then close this box as you can see all the dimension is now aligned to our dimension line so by this way uh, viewers you can draw uh, your uh, irregular shape uh, of your plot if uh, the data is mentioned from the client and uh, if there is no bearing and no angle mentioned in it hope you will like this video if you have any suggestion so please uh, comment below so i will learn from you also thank you very much and in the end subscribe my channel hit the bell icon and put your thumbs up it will help me a lot